Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released the latest optional update for Windows 11 23H2, which is KB5064080. And once the update has been installed, if you do decide to install the update, because it's just that, an optional update, the OS build will be bumped up to 22621.5840. Now, just like Windows 10, Windows 11 23H2 is reaching its end of support soon. 23H2's end of support is happening in November. Windows 10 is in October. And because of this, we are seeing that Microsoft is really just pushing out stability updates now with these optional updates and not too many front-facing features because obviously both those versions of Windows are reaching their end of support. But we do get um, one so-called new feature with this latest optional update. And it's also rolled out to Windows 10, where there's a new Windows backup for organizations with Microsoft saying that backup for organizations is now generally available. So if you're refreshing your organization's devices or upgrading to Windows 11, this a solution, it says, helps sustain productivity with minimal disruption. And the native Windows backup application, as you may well know, has already been available to home users, general users, and now has been made available with this latest update for organizations and enterprises in those environments. And just on a side note, just like I mentioned with Windows 10's video I posted earlier today, I'll leave that linked. This seems to be fully functional now because Microsoft has removed the little banner at the top saying that the app will be fully functional in an up and coming update. So this does seem to be working fine now over on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And then we get a bunch of fixes. I'm just going to go through most of these, which you may be interested in. First of all, Microsoft has improved the Copilot Keys reliability. And that's obviously if you have a device with a Copilot key. So if we head to personalization, text input, Microsoft says there was an issue that was preventing users from restarting Copilot after using the key. So that's been resolved. There's a device management fix where there was an issue where the removable storage policy didn't correctly block external devices such as USB flash drives. And there's a family safety fix where there was an issue where the ask to use approval prompt didn't appear when blocked apps were opened. And then we get two fixes for File Explorer. The first fix, Microsoft says, where File Explorer might unexpectedly only display a single folder, as an example, the desktop folder, rather than the expected content with recent files and more. And the second File Explorer fix, Microsoft says, syncing more SharePoint sites to File Explorer might slow performance when navigating folders or opening the context menu. This can also affect how quickly files launch. So two File Explorer fixes have been made available in this update. And the update addresses an issue in Resilient File System, REFS, where enabling deduplication and compression simultaneously could occasionally cause the system to stop responding. So that's quite important. And then we've got two input fixes. The first is this update addresses an issue where certain extended Unicode characters, such as rare Chinese symbols, appeared as blank spaces or incorrect symbols in Windows text boxes and the second fix addresses an issue with the Chinese simplified input method editor. So two input fixes and three more just to go through for the purpose of this video. The update addresses an issue where narrator incorrectly read the name of the enhanced facial recognition protection checkbox under the facial recognition Windows Hello setting that also rolled out for Windows 10 and there's a network connectivity fix where the update addresses an issue where Wi-Fi might not reconnect automatically after a group policy update. So that's quite an important fix. And then the last one, there was an issue where cameras didn't appear during remote sessions after being added or removed. So that's a fix rolling out for remote desktop. 
So guys, that's more or less what's new. As mentioned, days are drawing near till the end of support for Windows 11 23H2, so not really too much going on in regards to front-facing features, but a good couple of bug fixes made available with KB5064080. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.